In recent years, under the leadership of the Supreme Commander-in-Chef of the Armed Forces, Shavkat Merzioyev, major reforms have taken place to modernize Uzbek National Army. Innovative ideas and technologies have been widely introduced in the military sector, and scientific research, experimental work and design activities have been launched. Today's new approach increases use interest in technology and engineering and encourages local enterprises to engage in defense production. A festival of innovative technologies in the defense industry has been organized at the Victory Park Memorial Complex. This festival marks the beginning of large-scale efforts to develop the defense industry and introduce innovative and digital technologies. The event included an exhibition of modern weapons, military equipment, robotics, chemical technologies, mining, metallurgy and dual-purpose products. As stated by the Minister of Defense, the number of participants has increased significantly this year, highlighting the growing importance of the festival. About 120 large enterprises and organizations, along with more than 200 entrepreneurs, are taking part in today's festival, showcasing their products. Enterprises with the highest quality and most innovative products selected at the exhibition will have the opportunity to collaborate with the defense industry agency. This festival is not just a defense industry exhibition, it is also a platform that reflects the unity of innovation and science, courage and dedication. In recent years, Uzbekistan has established military technical cooperation with about 50 countries and signed contracts with over 30 leading foreign companies. Partnerships with 40 local enterprises have also been formed. The range of military products now includes 155 types, and services in this field have increased by 2.5 times. Foreign visitors also actively took part in the festival and expressed their admiration for Uzbekistan's progress and achievements in the defense sector. I'm really amazed about the development that Uzbekistan has has done on the way during uh, the last years following the um, uh, request of President Mr. Yoyev to modernize the armed forces and also the security um, uh, organizations here in the country. I think especially the, the drone market is growing very fast and we see that Uzbekistan is uh, developing their own systems and I think this would be a potential a product that would be uh, requested on the market worldwide. This uh, event is networking between the industry and the uh, defense agencies as well as the armed forces. The highlight of the exhibition was the display of armored vehicles that were recently showcased at the ITX International Defense Exhibition in the United Arab Emirates. Bulana. Speaking about its features of our Sloan armored vehicle, it's equipped with a 30mm caliber cannon and a 62mm Pilimat launcher. It is fully remote controlled and weighs 33 tons. This vehicle is primarily designed for destroying armored targets, fortifications and transporting personnel. Currently this equipment is unique to Uzbekistan and we have plans to further develop and enhance it in the future. The festival also features B2B meetings between participating companies. Several competitions for youth will also be held. In addition, this event offers young people interested in programming and robotics available opportunity to turn their ideas into reality and gain knowledge in these fields. Talented participants will have the chance to begin production of their projects and potentially find employment in defense industry enterprises.